Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, I do have a Leo and Virgo only channel. If you would like to check it out, the links are below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. Okay. Uh, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Um, readings can be vice versa, my loves. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. If it doesn't resonate, it's okay. It's just simply not your story. Um, please keep in mind that readings can be future predictive though. Okay. And when leaving comments, please try to, uh, keep in mind that it may not resonate with you, but it may resonate with someone else. So, you know, show some kindness and sympathy for their situation. Okay. All right, um, what else? I do not take personal readings. So any phone numbers that you see in the comment section below is not me. And if anyone reaches out to you on social media, it is not me, okay? Um, I can recommend Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. Uh, if you would like to book a reading with her, the link is in the description box below, okay? So let's see what we have here today for my beautiful Cancer babies. I'm seeing a crown. I don't know if someone has a crown tattoo or maybe a crown wall hanging over their bed or something like that. I don't know why I'm seeing a crown. Or maybe it could be one of those Irish rings. Um, have you ever seen those Irish rings where it's got the heart and the crown and if you turn it upside down, it means you're taken? I don't know. I'm seeing a crown. Okay. Or maybe someone needs to work on their crown chakra. Maybe their crown chakra is blocked. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising. Oh, I forgot to light my candle. Hold on. Where's the thing? Hang on, guys. I forgot to light my candle. Call in some positive energy here. Okay. All right, let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please, in love. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Tell me about Cancer, please, in love. Tell me about Cancer, please, in love. The King of Swords and the Two of Wands. Tell me about Cancer, please, in love. Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords. Okay, we've got the Tower and we have the Strength card. The Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords with the Justice card. Okay, so Cancer, what I'm feeling here is... I feel like this might be your energy, Cancer. I feel like with that King of Swords energy, you're getting really fed up with people or a situation here, okay? There's two paths that you can take, obviously, here. One is to continue down this road with this person where I feel like there's repetitive cycles in this connection. Um, another one is you deciding, you're knowing your worth, deciding that you want stability in your life some of you are looking for marriage maybe to start a family um you know you're looking to manifest in life so this could be an energy of you pulling your energy away focusing on work focusing on accomplishing your goals here and knowing that eventually you will meet the person that's going to give you that long-term stability very interesting i want to show you something i just realized there is a crown on top of that owl 
Very interesting, right? Now, owls are a representation of wisdom cancer. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you're making this head over heart decision. The only problem is cancer with that page of swords and that 10 of wands. Um, I, I feel like for some of you, maybe you didn't realize it would be this difficult or um, there's someone coming towards. Oh, that's what it is. I feel like cancer, you're making this decision to do what's best for you. Okay, uh, learning those lessons is making you ascend to that nine of pentacles energy, pre-empress energy. Just to make it clear, in tarot, we don't read gender. Pre-empress energy is an energy of somebody that is, you know, achieving everything that they need to achieve in their single life. Lumen Moon Tarot puts it the best. The only thing the nine of pentacles is lacking is that one pentacle, which is love, which then brings it to that beautiful 10 of pentacles, long-term commitment, someone to share your life and abundance with. Okay. I feel like a message is coming in with that page of swords energy. Um, it's not an apology. It's not an, I miss you. It's not an emotional message. This is a message of somebody that is going through an extremely hard time. I don't know who, you know, I don't know what this person's going through exactly here. But I feel like with the strength card and the tower, something is falling apart in this person's life and they need, um, they need you. They need you. Uh, with this five of swords energy and the seven of cups and the just, oh, that's what it is, Cancer. Okay. So someone here was mistreating you, Cancer, and I feel like you took your power back. You decided to know your worth and do your own thing. You are fine. Okay, money is looking good. Maybe some of you are buying a new house. Some of you, you know, you're just looking good here, Cancer. Okay, you made the right decision for yourself. The problem is, Cancer, is that things are not going so well for the person that I feel like you've left behind. Um, I feel like with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups, I feel like this person has multiple relationships around them that are going wrong. People around them are mistreating this person. Um, with the Justice card, their, their, their karma is hitting this person really hard, okay? Their foundations uh, the, the, of relationships around them are falling apart. Heart, okay and they need your help cancer they need your help uh, because you know they're paying karma for what they did we have the two of cups here cancer so I do feel like there was a very strong soul tie connection between you and this person I don't know if you're meant to come back together with this person because we've got the death card here there is some type of change or transformation that needed to take place on both of your ends is what I'm feeling I feel like you needed to learn a lesson in self-respect self-love self worth um surrendering to the divine and knowing that what's meant for you is meant for you and just focusing on your own inner healing and your own you know life okay um but this message is coming in and it's a very serious message cancer with that page of swords energy this is going to be a very honest conversation brutally honest conversation um this person needs help nine of pentacles and the moon Tell me about the Four of Wands for Cancer. I don't like the way that came out. Tell, well, I don't like the way that came out. Tell me about the Four of Wands, please, for Cancer. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. So Cancer, I feel like there's an energy here of in this relationship with this person. It's kind of like this energy of you knew that it wasn't going to work, but you continued to cloud your intuition or or silence your intuition wanting to close off that crown chakra so you were not getting downloads from you know the divine your angels your ancestors you know you just didn't want to listen okay and with that ace of swords in the reverse it's an energy of you you didn't want to believe it at one point in time that the connection wasn't going to work out um, but i do feel like you came to that energy and understanding of you had to let it go OK, this person was keeping a lot of secrets. You caught them in a very serious lie. OK, you caught them in a very serious lie, possibly. Tell me about the two of wands here for cancer. We've got the devil and we have the three of swords in the reverse cancer. It could very well be here, cancer, that um, 
this person put you in a third party situation or they forced you into a position where you had to make a choice, either stay with the devil or heal your life. Okay, um, this person with that devil card could have had gambling addictions, shopping addictions, sexual addictions. They could have had drug addictions. They could have lived in the ego. They could have been narcissistic. They could have been selfish. They could have been greedy. They could have been whatever. You know, the devil is everything that is wrong with the world, right? So, you know, you had to make a choice to either sit in this toxic energy or heal and do what was best for you. And I feel like you made that judgment call um, and you did it. You know, the king of swords here with the judgment and the star you used your better judgment here and you decided to go about your business okay with the empress and the five of cups you did it with a heavy heart but you know that you're sitting in empress energy now let me make it clear cancer that the empress gives birth to new life how do we give birth it's painful painful as hell Okay, um, so you you decided I'm going to go through the pain and suffering with this five of cups energy to end this connection. But my next connection, I will be an empress and they will be an emperor. Okay, and with that full card, you went about your merry way. Interesting that we see the ten of swords here, Cancer, because that's the card that popped out when I was shuffling and I put it back in. Okay, so Cancer, you know, you just turned your back on this whole situation, doing what's best for you and your life. This person's going through it. Ten of Wands and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Tell me about the Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Cancer, you're about to receive a message of somebody. I, I don't feel like you've heard from this person. I don't feel like you've heard from this person. I feel like with that Ten of Wands energy, they're overwhelmed. Everything is falling apart in this person's life. Three of Pentacles and the Tower. So the Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Tower. Any form of stability that this person had in their life is crashing down. It's crashing down. Their car, their job, their friends, their family, their relationship, anything that was once stable in this person's life, it's falling apart. And with that, uh, with that hermit card now, they're kind of being forced into this place to uh, be alone and seek that enlightenment to analyze why their life is falling apart if they lose their job they don't have money to date they don't have money to go out and party they don't have money to buy drugs they don't have money to go drinking they don't have money to gamble like the divine is is kind of setting into motion that type of scenario for this person where now they are stuck sitting home sitting alone and thinking to themselves why why is this happening to me and they're starting to understand why it is karmic justice okay and they're going to come in and tell you about it they're going to come in and tell you that maybe they need your help um let's see here tell me about cancer please Ten of hearts. okay we've got the full aries energy tell me about cancer please and the emperor Cancer, I feel like you're in an energy of wanting to move on to something new, wanting to find the emperor to your empress here. You're, you're wanting somebody maybe more mature, older, somebody more committed, somebody that knows how to have a good time and be solid and stable at the same time. We've got the Justice card and the Eight of Pentacles. Cancer, it could very well be that this person is uh, going literally from zero to 60. They may be going from this full energy where they're, they're walking around like they belong to nobody, completely irresponsible in life with your feelings and with this connection. I feel like, you know, this karma that's hitting this person may be sparking them into uh, working on themselves, their life. Uh, don't forget the eight of pentacles isn't just about working it, it also talks about being an apprentice it talks about being in training do you understand so you know the, whatever karma this person's going through it's definitely teaching them you know how to make better decisions in life okay tell me about cancer please we have the seven of pentacles and the ten of cups cancer i feel like this person may now be coming into an energy where they're wanting to um invest in a long-term connection 
This can be one of two things, Cancer. This could be your past person telling you that they're coming in wanting to change, or this could be someone totally new. This could be someone completely new with that Fool card that treats you right, that is your divine counterpart, that works on the connection, that wants to invest in a future with you. For those of you who are new to Tarot, that Ten of Cups is long-term, emotional, solid commitment, the person that you're going to grow old with. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and we've got the Magician here, Cancer. Whatever you have been manifesting is coming to fruition. Um, there was a, a new moon that just passed. This last new moon today is January 26, 2023. Um, these are timeless, so whenever you watch it, you watch it. But whatever the case may be, there's something here that you've been manifesting that is about to come to fruition. So I don't know if it's this past person that's you know leveling up and coming towards you leveled up or Cancer. I don't know if you're actually meeting someone new here. You know, you may, may be meeting somebody perfectly new. We have the Four of Wands, the Emperor to the Empress. Is this a twin flame journey where this person is ascending and having an awakening? Or is this you possibly leaving a karmic and moving towards a twin flame connection? I don't know. What do I know? I only work here. I don't know anything. All right, let's see here. Tell me about this full card, please. Tell me about this full card for Cancer. Six of Swords. This is definitely a card of moving on. Okay, so I maybe you're leaving a karmic here to move towards a twin. Tell me about this Emperor and the Knight of Swords. This is going to come in very quickly. Okay, so Cancer, if you broke up with this person and they are coming back as an emperor, everything is going to fall apart for this person very quickly. Or Cancer, if you're leaving this person behind, you're about to meet this new person very quickly. I just felt a very sharp pain in my heart. I feel like this past person is going through so much stress that it may actually affect their heart space, like the anxiety, like I'm feeling it again. What is that about? Tell me about the justice card, please. We've got the Nine of Cups and the Justice card, the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Cancer, this is extremely, this is gorgeous. This is a, a relationship where you're getting your wish fulfillment. This is a soul tie connection. Um, this is somebody that treats you right, treats you fairly, puts you on a pedestal here, gives you the love and respect that you deserve. They're, this is a hard worker. Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Cancer, okay, so again... I, I don't know here. This could be someone new or it could be, uh, you know, Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups. This could be somebody that walked away from you, coming back to talk, coming in from out of the cold, somebody that you ghosted or left behind. Temperance, you know, they're wanting to fix things. They're wanting to extend that olive branch. This is somebody that, you know, their life is falling apart without you and they're seeing that, you know, they want to invest in a future with you or cancer. This could just be that, you know, they're coming back around and you've already moved on. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please, for Cancer. The Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Hanged Man. Cancer, with the Seven of Wands here, this is an energy of, you know, either you guys overcoming challenges with a past person or this is you blocking somebody because you're investing in something else. Um, with the Hanged Man here and the Ten of Cups, this could be an energy where you have really suffered and sacrificed with somebody and now you're getting the happily ever after with this person that you've deserved. Or it could be that this person took too long for that light bulb to go off and you're already in another relationship 
relationship. But one thing I can tell you for certain with the Queen of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups, you definitely, definitely have a message coming in here. Eight of Wands, a lot of messages coming in here um, of somebody who's very apologetic. And here we see that Ace of Cups. So this could be you, Cancer, you know, talking to this person and saying, hey, listen, I'm sorry, I'm with someone new. Or this could be this person telling you, hey, Cancer, listen, I'm sorry, I want to give you my my whole heart here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's two ways that this can go. So I'm going to take it into the extended cancer and I'm going to do two separate readings, okay? I'm going to do one reading for if you're moving on to this new situation, what will happen to this past person? Um, I, I feel like you're making the right decision by going towards this new situation if, if you've met someone new and you feel like they're your emperor, okay? Let's just, let's just dig a little bit deeper here. I, I don't know if you're meeting someone new here or if this person's coming back. Um, you know, this could be a twin ascending, or this could be you leaving a karmic to move towards a twin. So, so we're going to just go a little bit deeper with that in the extended and see what direction this is going in. Okay. All right, guys, the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.